Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to this first impressions of Defend Your Life in one of the oddest resolutions I've ever seen. Uh, yes, uh, for the people who don't know or simply haven't been been on my channel or have not seen my first impression series, uh, my first impression series simply entails me playing a new game for between 10 and 40 minutes and deciding whether I like the game or not and giving a bit of a detail as to why, in addition to any technical difficulties, etc, etc. So it's essentially a very light review just of the first 40 or so minutes of a game. Now normally I'd be going into a game completely blind, however with this particular title that was not possible because of how difficult it was to record. Um, this, as you may tell already, is a mobile port and it has some weird things which come along with that which many iOS ports kind of do. It's kind of a thing you seem to expect these days. First of all, the resolution is bizarre, very difficult to change. I won't change it right now because it changes automatically when you press the buttons to check it and that will break fraps. But they're not in 720 um, 1080p as you'd expect. They're in some weird numbers which simply don't really match. It's it's actually longer than it is wide. It's not good. So there's most likely going to be black bars on the side of this video because I've tried stretching it and it simply looks terrible because although this looks like a very good game with, with decent um, with decent fidelity, you can also tell it's been blown up already quite a bit, so stretching it can cause some issues. The second thing I want to say is the audio is broke as hell. Um, this, this applies mostly to people who, who are recording, so less to people who are playing, but something's worth mentioning. The audio will spike at moments. For no reason whatsoever, the audio will kind of go up or down. That's why we're kind of, we're currently on there at a very, very low setting. So, here's the music. We're currently on the very lowest setting because of this. And finally, the price, because people always ask about the price. The game is currently on sale as of recording this. This is the 13th of April. It is on sale, so it's only 80 pence. Actually, it's 79 pence. Um, it's re the normal price is £3.99, or your regional equivalent. I can't quite say for different countries, because it depends on how the game has decided to um, do that. There'll be a link in the description regardless. So back on towards what, what actually the game is. It is a, t it is a tower defence. Set inside the human body. I actually think, honestly, so far, just a overall review right now, for its price currently, the 80 pence, I think it's actually worth it. It's very nicely stylized, the artwork is great, the music is actually pretty good despite being a little bit um, odd. And it's all quite smooth, it all works as you expect it to work. It's very obviously an an iOS port, there's no keyboard involved, there's a nice upgrade system where you can spend pills after doing a match to essentially upgrade your um, your towers, your special powers, etc, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go back and play the tutorial mission in Easy. Uh, in this game what you have to do is play Easy which will unlock Medium, Medium will then unlock Hard. It, so you have to do all three if you want to, so you have to do both of these before you can do Hard. So we're simply going to do Normal. There are still some available upgrades. I know, but I'm trying to save up for something. So essentially, it's a tower defense, but it's a really nicely stylized tower defense. Let's go. Welcome! It seems our body needs your help. Stop enemies from crossing through the organs. Like I say, we'll just play through the, through, through the tutorial because it explains the game a lot better than I can. Build your towers. Look for the green arrow if you're not sure about the right place. So it wants us to build there. We already have two little turrets here and here. So it wants us to build here, so why not? The Capuscule Tower, who, which, it, which a name I can't pronounce despite being a trained microbiologist. Go me. Tower with a high shoot rate, but small effect. Um, there is a small issue where the English in places isn't exactly perfect. So on every level, you'll have one of these fellows. This little windmill in the background, which, which, which is never explained to you, which is kind of bizarre. The windmill will give you oxygen. Oxygen is your resource in this game. Do you think the game is too slow? You can change the speed by using the button on the other part of the screen. Yay! So yeah, on this level, it's all you can really do. There's also platelets here. Yep, their platelets are absolutely adorable. Look at them. They're tiny little things. They'll simply clot the enemies, essentially. The, the, the whole po Oh no! An enemy got through! Because I, want, because I wasn't doing anything. Of course, the whole point of this game, of the, of the tutorials, is to build over and over again. So the platelets will block enemies, they'll fight enemies essentially. They're, they don't do any damage until you upgrade them, upgrades will be unlocked later. You also have a host of powers which are free to use, boom, which are free to use and, oh there you go, and simply don't cost anything. In the iOS I've been told, I'm not sure if this is true or not, 
it costs gems. And so here, for the victory, we've just got 51 gems. In the PC version, the gems are completely useless. There's no way to track them, and they are not a viable thing. If I am incorrect about this, if someone corrects me, if I find out something different, even though I've looked for a good 20 minutes before, I will put it in the description along next to the Steam link if there is actually a use for them. So essentially, that's the game. As you can imagine, there are several enemy types, so it's we're going to be doing a new level now, and we are doing the stomach as we go through the body. Oh yeah, actually no, no, but again, you can't keep getting tablets from doing the same mission over and over again. At least not in the same difficulty. Here we are. Do not forget to build on more advanced platforms in the middle of the map. They offer more damage and... Yeah, um, certain platforms have bonuses, some you have to actually build up to have the bonus. It's kind of bizarre. So, this is in the future. It won't start until we press go, so we've got a while now. Just pause. Oh, I can't pause that. So we have new abilities. Um, some will simply, will simply upgrade your towers for a brief amount of time. Others will cause um, damage to everyone on the screen, which is the electricity. And finally, the bomb we've already seen. So I have. Oh, I actually do. I do have a new kind of turret. I haven't. Hey, that I haven't seen before either. Tower causes damage to large groups of enemies. That's cool. But for now, let's just um, stay with what I know. So these towers can be upgraded to, to proper cannons. Or Tesla cannons. Tesla cannons are able to um, do a do a high amount of damage, but with a ridiculously long cooldown. Whereas the machine guns, you can imagine, yeah, daka daka daka. Let's upgrade the platelets. Now these platelets, there's now three of them, and they have those little um, batons. They can actually fight back, which is wonderful. There's a very slight issue of a very small frame drops when you're in fast forward, which. Which, uh, which, is, which is acceptable, honestly. The only reason I noticed them is because I've got a frame counter currently on my screen, because obviously I'm recording. So it's a bit of an oddball. Okay, that enemy there is the flu. The flu will spawn mini flus if it, if it is killed. Explode that. And what we'll do is double the platelets. There we go. And let's save up for the double cannon. That little white blood cell inside there firing the cannon away. Lovely. There we go. And I'm going to use... Sadly, the achievement progress keeps on popping up today. I don't know what's wrong with my Steam, but I cannot get rid of it, despite the fact I've got the option off. So this upgrade here is Adrenaline, so essentially I can make these guns shoot much faster for a short space of time. As you can see, they're just absolutely downing the enemy. Bit like graphical glitch there, the shot being um, permanently etched onto the screen. Yeah, I will say, this game is fraught with tiny, tiny glitches like that. It's, um, it's quite common to see them, so I'll probably see more by the end. They're not game-breaking by any means, but it certainly shows a lack of, um, finish. Hey, we have our first cannon. Ooh. Oh no, we have some enemies through because I was looking at- Ah, darn. Some enemies, you see, when they're attacked, go invisible. They are the Nicorette. Nicorette, something like that, something similar. It's like PJ enemies. There they are, the Nicotinic. Very dangerous unit which disappears after the first hit. Essentially, it does a lot of damage to you as well, so... What we'll do now is very quickly just put... Um, put platelets here. Two platelets here, and then a couple of machine guns. And that will just hold off any enemies that get past. Because the Nicorette will only go invisible once they're first attacked, currently all our damage is in the center. So actually, what probably be better is having a machine gun placed here. So there he is, he just got attacked by our platelets, I'll kill him nicely. That's what should happen last time, but I wasn't prepared. Zap! And uh, no need to do the bomb right now, okay. Tapeworm, okay, the new enemy type. Tapeworm is slow but deals large damage. Thanks to its hard shell, it is bigger and more resilient than any other unit. There they are. Look at the little tapeworm. Oh, wow, that is a lot of health, actually. Okay, let's upgrade this one to a double. And then we'll speed up both their attack speed and we'll place a bomb on uh, this one. Okay, there goes the first, the second will be dealt with nicely, excellent. Let's upgrade, let's, okay, so let's have a look, what is the upgrade here? So, artillery. Increases attack damage, but even slower recharge, or... Ooh, swamp tower. Swamp fields cause damage to all enemy walking through them. Oh, that's cool, so it just constantly disgusts an area. Well, that's interesting. So that'll be good against swarms, but terrible against everything else, but it does damage the invisible Nicorette there. I keep calling them Nicorettes, which is a brand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something or other. So you can become an artillery instead. Okay. There you go, we've got a handle on it all now, so it's all being fired. So there's a decent term um, variety of enemies, decent variety of towers, not overly complex. And that kind of leads into my next point about complexity. 
I really do think this game will get boring later on. Um, so far from what I've seen and from what I've been told from other people. Thank you, achievements. There is a certain lack of depth in the game. And this is, of course, completely my opinion. And people can have different opinions than this. As you can tell as well, the audio has been increasing during this match. Right now it's actually quite loud on my ears. I'm hoping that, that my equaliser is going to deal with it. And now it's quieted down again. Isn't that weird? So now the sound's gone lower. And I'm hoping that'll, that'll actually be on the video. I'm not sure because I'm trying to keep it all even. So if that has picked up, you would have heard it. But actually the volume just increased. Dram and there you go again. There's no reason that should... And that's quiet again. Oh, it's louder in times one. Okay, that's one thing I didn't know. So never mind then. It's, it's if you're in times one speed, the game's louder in times four. Okay, that's fine. That's a good speed of view. Okay, we need to start upgrading some stuff. So um, I'm thinking we should ha just start doing some damage to enemies that pass by. Here's some Tesla. Here's some double Tesla. Boom, as you see, does a lot of damage with a huge cooldown. Great versus things like the tapeworm and the flu, craft versus everything else. There we go. Lovely. Get three. Oh no, I let too many through. Oh well. So we've got an upgrade anyway, so we can have a look at the upgrade system. I want you. Oh, thank you, creepy creature. I don't actually know what that is. I think it's meant to be a red blood cell. Oh, there we go. So it simply hasn't unlocked yet. But how come, okay, all the forums are red, stacked otherwise, so I'm sorry about that, Sam Shreds. But you can, in fact, use diamonds here. You, see, in in the iOS version, you can actually buy the diamonds, and that's how the game makes money, because it's a free game. So I assumed, okay. That's interesting, I can't actually see what it's saying, because the arrow is blocking the way. Five additional hit points. So you start off with more oxygen. In game abilities will be ready. Oh, adrenaline is on everyone. Well, let's go with this. Extra oxygen. Buy four next strong Oh, so that happens in the next battle. Oh, how do you set these off then? So let's say I want to do this fight. How do I do it? Easy, yeah, sure. Start. Continue. I don't really care. I'm gonna quit this game anyway. So I don't need to put it in the description because that's actually how we can use the uh, the um, diamonds. That's excellent. I'm glad that's got use. You bought oxygen this level. Aha! So we can simply use it any point. Ah, but they're one use thing, so essentially it's like a power. Oh, okay, that's really cool. So I see that's how. Okay. That is, let's. Ooh. Vitamin factory, because range damage. Ooh, that's awesome. So these two get a bonus from that then. So, okay, let's use the extra option, so why not? That is a very nice start. Ooh. Damage, vitamin buildings, attack rate, or. Ra let's go attack rate. Let's make these things ridiculously fast at shooting. Even more oxygen! Power! Overwhelming! There we go. And continue. I don't think... I don't, we won't be finishing this match. Oh wow, that's ridiculous. Okay, awesome. So, okay, that's lovely to see. I'm very happy about that, actually. So, um, that's something positive we can say then about the diamonds. We can actually change our mind completely. Hopefully people won't be correcting me in the chats before getting to the end of the video. That was simply a map. Honestly, I spent a good 10 minutes. There's not much information currently out here, currently out yet of this game, or even on the iOS things. I mean, sorry, of the PC version just yet, because it's a new game. Well, it's, well, it's been newly released, sorry, on PC on Steam. Um, and if I did read, the diamonds are actually useless, so clearly the person who wrote that epic review was actually incorrect and gave me some false information. Thank you very much, sir. How much does this cost? Five. Okay, yeah, sure. Increase the damage. There we go, so that thing's more damaging. So that's that, Sir and Threads. I think it's a decent enough game. It works well enough on um, on PC, on Steam. And honestly, it's going to waste a good few hours of my life, because it does will. I, I love these kind of games. I think, though, for its full price of £4, well, £3.99, I don't think I can really recommend it as a personal kind of note. Not that really my, my recommendations hold much weight. But as a... But currently on sale for for 80 pence, for 79 pence, honestly, I, I, I would get it, because it seems fun. 
So, thank you for watching this little first impression. I hope it helped you in some way. If it, if you, if it had, and if you enjoyed it, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, help out me, help out the channel, and of course ensure more content like this and my regular content gets done. So thank you, have a lovely day, do take care, and until next time, goodbye.